And now that we can use these things in the Hades fight, I should probably switch it to Meg, like I said. Okay, it's on Poseidon, or Aspect of Poseidon. Uh, since I don't know what boon I'm going to get, I will keep Family Favorite on. And should I do the same thing here? Maybe I should ease up the time. Because it's kind of lame running out of time if you're not going for a PB or something. You know, like if you're not if you're not tryharding on really high heat or something, running out of time is just so lame. So let's just put it on nine, I guess. I could definitely do seven though. It's just that Elysium took a long time on the last run. But let's just make it nine. I'm not trying to prove anything right now. I'll keep jury summons on max though, just because it's fun. Let's do this. Won't get extra bounties this way, but why not? Max out Palm Blossom too. Oh, do I not even have that thing ranked up all the way yet? Afro. Hmm. Ready yourself, dearest, because you and I, we're going to have ourselves a little outing. I expect that neither one of us shall soon forget. Her cast has such bad range. This is going to be weird. Maybe, uh, maybe there's something to this. The whole point of this build, though, is that you can stay far away shooting your cast, and this cast is like a shotgun at point blank. My first instinct was to restart, but I'm going to try it. I want to try riding this out. Because her cast is fun. Pomegranate again. Let's see how high leveled we can get this. Whoa. Uh, what's going on here? What the? Cast. Hmm, let's see here. I wonder if that's worth it. Since we don't have enough money to buy something at the shop anyway, I'd rather save it. Yeah, see, there's the shop. We can't buy a boon there. Pomegranates will be 180, though, so that's I think that's still worth attempting. Everything is fun to play with except the time limit. It's just not fun if you ask me. I like having a little fire under my chair, right? So that way you can't just be too slow. You know, you have some pressure. I like playing under pressure. But uh, when you have the timer on really tight, it's just so lame if you have like a really cool build and you're doing everything right, but then you just run out of time and that's the lamest. Oh man, I can't get any of that. Zeus, eh. We can get Smoldering Air. I'll take a Zeus spoon just for Smoldering Air. Ow. Could have done that way faster. Mm, none of these are good for sword. Don't really know what else I could get though. I could just take the. Well, no. I'd I'd rather keep the dash open for either a Poseidon or Athena. So I will take one of these just so I can get smoldering air potentially.
I'll put it on the attack. I'd rather save the special for something that's going to actually increase the base damage. I need to take this here just because I need to have at least 270 for the next shot. Ooh, there we go. There's a Smoldering Air. Although we could take Dionysus for Family Favorite. But I can do that later. Smoldering Air is just too fun. Uh, I'd probably rather fight Aphrodite. Bolted. Okay, that makes our Lightning Bolts actually okay. with the opportunity don't ever reject me so that's the way it is then Whoa. That'd be a nice spot for uh, Meg, I think. I don't need it, though. Just thinking about the time. But I loosened the time limit, so it's not, uh, not really that big of a deal. Are you kidding me? Wait, what? Where was the heart? It must have been, it must have been clipping through him. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's not even hard to avoid it. I kept going through them. I couldn't see it coming. And it comboed! They got a tag combo. Yet who among us isn't without vices? <laughs> I wonder if I should start re-rolling for Smoldering Air now. Well, actually, I don't think Smoldering Air can be offered until you have a call, I think. So let's see if we can even get a call. Let's re-roll for the call. What else. That could be actually that's pretty good though. Hmm. I think I might just take that. I'm still trying to get a call, though. This is... <laughs> I, I hope I don't regret sticking with this build. I think intuitively the Aphrodite call is the worst thing to use on Aspect of Poseidon. Well, I guess the Dionysus one would be kind of weird, too. Even though the Dionysus... Did I say call at cast? Even though the Dionysus cast is good on Beowulf. Can't pass up the hammer. What are they doing? Oh, uh, why are they standing there? I will take it. Dash strike hits twice. I might just take that for the prophecy. These, once again, all of these only affect your regular attack. Well, I mean, dash strike. All, none of these affect my special or my cast. Well, I mean, they can't affect my cast, but my point is, with this build, the only attacks I'm really using are my cast and my special, so it doesn't really matter what I do to change my regular attack or dash strike, so let's just do that for the prophecy. Stronger. And prophecy fulfilled. What's for sale? Okay. Okay. Why am I able to spawn kill things so easily with this cast? Okay. Who's left?
Oh, why did I have to do that? It's only Tartarus, too. Okay, so Crush Shot basically one-shots everything right now. It still feels like this is taking a long time, though, because even though I can one-shot everything, I have to walk up to each individual enemy instead of just taking down hordes all at once with, like, a Zeus attack. Even though I have Zeus attack. I was thinking Zeus attack with Exegriff, though. There's a chest. Okay, shop, Demeter. Okay, let's definitely take the shop. So what room is this? 13. I was there an extra chamber. Uh, we probably don't need the health. I'm going to buy Zeus, though, just so we can get another chance at smoldering air. Yeah, I want smoldering air. I'll use one reroll. What else we got? I will take this so we can have a call. I forgot, I can't get Smoldering Air until I get a call, so... That still builds towards Smoldering Air, though. Shocking. We'll do that in the health. Just to be safe. Lucto again? Trash God. This job never gets old, Red Blood, I can assure you that. Ugh! <laughs> You figure I would be walking into traps less so now that I'm using controller. I literally lost track of where she was, as is normally the case when you fight Electo. Tell Meg I said hello. Felt something. Okay, two over two minutes to spare. That's okay. Electo failed. I have Underworld Customs on, which means I need to sell one of these. I'll sell that. I think selling that. Well, I mean, keeping. Okay, what else could I sell if I? Didn't sell those. Well, all of the boons I have right now, I want to keep because in keeping these, it keeps them out of the boon pool of what can be offered from Zeus and Aphrodite. And by keeping these out of the boon pool, that means I have a higher chance of getting offered Smoldering Air next. But uh, everything I have is either Zeus or Aphrodite, so let's just sell that. I have full health because the fountains actually restore a lot of HP. Why is that locked? Right, what's making that locked? Might be an aid chosen. I'll have to figure that out. Uh, so I could keep Palm Blossom on. It's hit our cast a decent amount of times. Now that I kind of want... So the original idea was to start selling everything but the cast. So I could just get the cast really high leveled, right? But now I kind of want Smoldering Air. So... I could switch to the Athena Keepsake just to get sure footing. I hope that doesn't overwrite in a, an Aphrodite or a Zeus, though. Hmm... I'm going to take Coin Purse, just because I don't want Athena to overwrite an Aphrodite or a Zeus. Because that could potentially give me Smoldering Air. 
If I get smoldering air, though, I don't know if I'd want Zeus to be the call I keep. I only have that on right now so I can get smoldering air. Change of scenery, at least. I think an Aphrodite call with smoldering air would be funny. But that's only decent if you let it charge up to be a greater call. If I'm remembering it correctly. I never really used it much. Okay. Back here. Well, can we afford to pass up a Hermes if we're doing Aspect of Poseidon? Because Hermes would let us auto-fire all these casts, which could be decent too. I think this seed is saturated with Aphrodite and Zeus. So I think Hermes will be more rare. So let's do this. Because I'm more confident that we're going to get another Afro than another Hermes. Oh, that killed him in one hit. Ow. That was fast. That's pointless. I'm re-rolling. Hey, got anything else? Oh, that's great. Palm, Poseidon. Poseidon would help. Family favorite. Palm could give us a high chance of upgrading our cast again. I, I think I want to get the family favorite, though. Because we're probably going to get enough palms to upgrade our cast anyway, and then we're going to have to stop getting them because of diminishing returns. But a family favorite will always be significant. Plus, we need more boons so we can sell stuff. What the? Okay, I tried to dash. Dude, I'm taking so much damage in here. Oh, so you've already heard from Aphrodite, have you, nephew? Um, um I might just take title dash because we need a dash. And if we find an, an Athena, it's probably going to be the only Athena we find in the whole run. And if that's the case, I'd probably want sure footing more than the dash. It's still early enough for Ocean's Bounty, I think. We're doing okay on money right now, though. This is really good, too, though. But it's only when you take damage, so normally I wouldn't like this. Normally I would only like the ones that charge up faster if you deal damage as well. But because we're so Aphrodite focused, we're kind of doing a tank build. And so we are kind of getting hit a lot with weakened attacks. So it could have some good like tank synergy with boiling point. But if we wind up getting smoldering air, it doesn't really matter if it charges up faster and we will eventually need a dash anyway. So let's just take the dash. Athena. Oh, did I hear a chaos? Oh, but there's the shop right here though. Oh, it's a wait, that's a chest. I thought I heard a chaos gate though. There is. And there's everything in this room. Chaos or the shop? What room is this? 19? Okay, so it's not a freebie. So th there should be another shop before the end, right? <sighs> Aphrodite could give us uh, smoldering air too. 
I don't know if they, oh, this is tough. Um, after that, he could give us Smoldering Air. If we take this Chaos Gate, we're going to have to deal with its negative effects in the learning fight, which makes it a little scary. I'm going to take Afro. All three of those options were tempting. Ugh, this fight. I forgot how much faster that is. And I forgot the dash button. Dude. I'm used to doing the timing in that room with Thanatos. I forgot Meg comes out almost instantly. Uh, that's pretty good. But we're sort of on the verge where this won't be good. I think it's still early enough for that, though. But we're, we are spamming our special a lot because this is Aspect of Poseidon, so we should probably get a special, right? We afflicted foes are also more susceptible to damage. That could be good to actually have something damaging since everything we're doing right now is kind of tanky and not offensive. These are all pretty tempting. Um, we haven't gotten many hearts yet, so we're probably going to need to get more hearts later. So this is honestly not bad at all, but neither is this. We don't really need to apply special with anything else but our cast, though, because our cast is doing a good job of inflicting weak. So we're probably going to be getting some redundancy if we put weak on more than one thing, I think. That is an epic special, though. I'm going to get a life affirmation. Look at that heart right here. Ooh, Athena, Erebus. That could give us sure footing. Man, that's so tempting. This is a pretty tough decision. We only have one reroll, though. So the chances is the chance of us getting sure footing isn't that high. And since I just got life affirmation, I think I'll take this. Even though that's another tough decision. Dude, I dashed. Ow. Um, I was dashing like a madman in there and something still hit me. Okay. Hermes, money. What room is this? 21. Okay. So neither of these are a free room. Uh, Hermes. I almost killed myself by dashing into the lava there. The whole reason I'm learning controller over keyboard is so I can stop dashing into office so much. Get me out. Could have been worse. I, this I don't know if this stacks with smoldering air once you get it. Ooh, flurry cast. Yes, that's exactly what you want with Aspect of Poseidon. Nice. Um, that'll be a free palm, but I need health. And we have a lot of money, so let's do this. Hi, Nysis will give us... Family favorite bonus. Wait, how much money do I have? 622. So, uh, I can get both that and the heart. 
this together, that would be for, uh, 495, right? 495. And then with the, I can buy all this stuff. Nice. Should help keep me going. Yes, strong drink, my favorite. Thank you, Dionysus. Get this first and then that. Okay, nice. Good shop. Good shopping goo. Lenny, if you'd like for me to kill you, piss. Okay, I need I can auto fire these. I don't want all these casts to be stuck in him though when the other heads spawn. Me out of the lava. How am I supposed to hit him? He's hiding under the main one. What the heck? There. That was weird. There. I didn't want them to be I didn't want the cast to be stuck in him. There. Not too bad considering we didn't have sure footing nor Athena dash. And we should be full health once we sip on this fountain because of strong drink. Very nice. Oh man, what do we have to sell? Uh, I want to keep Zeus's aid so we can get smoldering air offered, but. I was planning on replacing this anyway. I could sell the lightning attack, right? Because I'm rarely ever attacking anyway. But we have Jolted, and if I sell this, that'll make Jolted pointless. Well, it's not pointless because we have the call. Let's just sell the attack, then we get more money for it anyway. Won't be needing that. Uh, that could make it worth taking Hourglass here. I'll do Hourglass then. Normally I would only do Hourglass if there were that and something like Cyclops Jerky. I'm kind of wondering if I should just play it safe and take Acorn for Theseus. Since, you know, I'm still getting used to playing on controller. And that'll just make it kind of safer. Maybe. I think once I get through Elysium, though, my build will be pretty strong, and I should be able to take them pretty quickly. I'm going to take this. Eleven chambers. Let's see if this works out. Plus, we can still use Hourglass to buy something going into Temple of Sticks before swapping to Acorn again, so there's always that plus. Which is why I love Hourglass so much. I would really like to get Rupture from Poseidon, just so that way our dash does a decent amount of damage, at least indirectly. What is this thing? Heart. I do have to start valuing hearts because of life affirmation from Aphrodite. But, uh, this can give us smoldering air, so... Picking that. Oh, yeah.
Why am I even using attack? Ow, ow. Dude. That was okay. Mm, I don't know how much benefit I'd be getting from that. I'm going to reroll here because this is a smoldering air chance. I would like none of these. None. Um Let's get the higher potency, I guess. No Hammer money. Hammer. Uh, okay, this is kind of scary. Our cast does let us kill these at a safe range, but it's sort of on the border. Whoa. That wasn't too bad. Dash Nova is very fun, but I think it's too hard to control. It might be worth it, though, because... Because... This is such a weird build with a cast that has such a bad range. Maybe Dash Nova would be good for letting us get in quickly. And it does make us sturdy, so that could sort of synergize with the weak by making us a tank build. It's just that once you take Dash Nova, you can't go back, and it's... Every time I've taken Dash Nova, I've concluded that it's just too hard to control, at least for me. I'm sure some people can make really good use of it. It is fun, though. Mm. Oh, we should upgrade at the damage of your special, too. I still need a special boon. I'm going to do it. Okay, uh, I don't have enough money to buy something at the shop. So I'm going to take the heart, since the hearts have upgraded potency. Teleports behind you. This is fun. Wow. That was like a perfect showcase of what this build is supposed to be doing. Poseidon Erebus. That's very tempting for Ruptured. That Aphrodite is tempting as well for Smoldering Air, but it's a boss room, and if it's the Minotaur, I don't want that. Normally, Poseidon would be tempting because Poseidon Special would be really nice for this because normally if you're doing Aspect of Poseidon, which would make a cast build, it would be good to knock your opponents away with the Poseidon special. But in this case, because my cast is so short-ranged, I don't really want to knock enemies back a lot. Plus, Abra's Gate, you know, is always a gamble. So I'm just going to take the money. We don't have 270. We don't have at least 270 anyway. Ooh, strong drink. Yes, please. We don't need the health, but it'll give us more attack. Dionysus... We already have strong drink, so that won't affect family favorite. And it's a boss. Let's just do the palm and see if we can upgrade the cast again. You again. Damn, he's Who? This build is crazy! Do 
Ow. What? I need to pressure them with my uh, dash a bit more. If I get surrounded or something, or if they're all cluttered up. Oh, you... I am really tanky. Upgrading the dash is tempting, but obviously this is our damage source. But I really do like buffing up Poseidon dash. Ooh, that's really tempting. I think I should probably do it. What room is this? 31. Yeah. Poseidon and Aphrodite are both kind of hard to fight. I think I'd rather fight Aphrodite though, because her attack is a lot slower. Razor Shoals? No. No special either. Mm, maybe Sunken Treasure is the best thing here. I'm already full health, though, I think. I'm near full health, at least. And that won't... So if we get a bunch of health from this, it won't really give us the full value of what it can normally give us. These are pretty lame options. Breaking Wave could be good with the with the dash, I guess. Instead of Rupture, that's still something. I think I'll take that. You think you can crush me inside like that? Well, I think I can crush you into tiny little bits. Bits. She'll get over it. They just teleport. My dash kept pushing him away. Whoa. Ooh, it finally got me. This room is so chaotic. This dash nova is not making it any easier to read what's going on. Why didn't I mag in here? Too late now, I think. Well, that was a crazy room. <sighs> this is why Dash Nova is kind of hard to deal with, even though it's really fun. Now we smoldering air. I'm wondering if there are other requirements I'm missing. Your cat shoots further. Thank you! Finally, and is stronger against undamaged foes. How much range bonus do we get? Wow, that's significant. Okay. Nice. So, this is 32. No Patroclus. A so good thing we haven't died yet. With the heart. Making use of that wall slam damage. Ow. Uh, okay, how is that not hitting him? Using Meg. Ow. 
Ow. You just start being concerned about my health here because I don't think Patroclus is showing up. We have a lot of health, though. Okay, so this will be a free room. Weird how there was no shop near the end. Here's something to remember, fishies. We definitely might lose a fight during this, or lose a death defiance during this boss fight. Let's just take this for the health. Oh, it's not a free room. Huh, we're getting an extra room. Weird. Something must have happened to uh, break that rule. There are certain rooms you can get which add an extra room to an area. I just forget all the weird little nuances that make it. That Hydra Light's still in effect. That's really helping us. Ow. Keep taking all this stupid damage. Like, yeah, it's a tank build, but death by a thousand cuts is what this is turning into. Uh, trying to get a wall slap there, but there's no wall. Who has my cast? Who's left? So there could still be a shop, right? Yes, okay. Definitely taking that. Nice. Healthy. Good thing we didn't lose a Death Defiance in that last room. So I have Meg, and I'm pretty sure you can hit both of these guys if you call Meg immediately. Ow. Whoa! I wasn't ready for that. Ice. Still trying to get used to this range on Dash Nova. How is that hurting me? Monster. You have no bearing and no grace 
Okay. Uh, am I hitting him? There. I'm hitting him that time. Okay, so we still have all death defiances. Nice, even without Patroclus. And this should heal us quite a bit because of strong drink. Nice. Um... I can sell that. We still have Hourglass on. That could be good. That could potentially get carried into the Hades fight if we get two sack. So that's obviously really good for a cast build. So I think I'm going to buy that. And then switch to Acorn. And we still have one use of Meg, which I should probably save for Hades. This isn't Extreme Measures 4, so I don't have to be too concerned about the Hades fight. Honestly, without Extreme Measures 4, the theseus Asterius fight is harder, in my opinion. What do we have here? Heart. I definitely, I definitely want to buy the heart because of its increased potency. And then it would be nice to get the Poseidon in the case that we can get Rupture on our dash, but it's pretty expensive, so that might be a maybe. Uh, there's a Poseidon there, though, we can get. And there's another heart. Okay, so let's do... Let's do Aphrodite for chance of smoldering air, and then the heart. If it doesn't give us smoldering air, hopefully it gives us a special. And then, like I said, let's do the heart after this. I need to remember, I don't have sure footing. So these traps, I need to avoid like the plague. Um, just dash around everywhere. Ow. Just dash around everywhere. Kill the rats with the, uh, dash. That's probably worth it as well, I think. Just in case we have to fight one of these bosses in sticks. Ow! Should have been more careful about that. I thought that uh, it wasn't. I thought that it wasn't going to shoot a buzzsaw anytime soon. I thought it had just shot one. Okay, I need that, uh, healing there. Wow, okay, that was a pretty hairy. Oh man, that would have been so nice getting that super early. That's still kind of tempting to get now so we can sell it, but we're being offered a special and we need a special. My heart is full. Let's buy that heart. We have a 430 HP. That's a lot. Let's do this other heart. Ow. Are you kidding me? Anything we want to sell? Uh, no. Well, no, we're keeping life affirmation on because we're literally getting a heart in this chamber. That would be nice if we could sell that afterwards, though. So it, it would only give us 70, though, so it's not that big of a deal. Easy room.
I would like a two sack here. It's not necessary though. It's just I want to make sure, you know, we don't die before the Hades fight. Okay. Healing. Does that stack? That's a relief. Not worth the gamble when I can just buy health. I knew it was going to be a risk that, uh, I knew it was going to be a risk in, like, not a risk, but a gamble in spending all that money on the health items, because if it were a two sec, I could heal up fully anyway because of strong drink. I still think it was worth the gamble, though. I think we're strong enough for the boss fight right here because it's only, uh, extreme measures three. Where is the fish? There. I think I see a fish. Plus, we have a lot of HP. Gup. I think this might be a personal record in terms of HP. Which is weird because it didn't even feel like we got life affirmation that early. But we just got a lot of hearts afterwards. I'm here, Father. Come on. I'm wondering if I must admit, this is privileged status would have been better than family favorite in the end, because weak counts as a status curse. But we're not really doing anything else to apply a status curse. I know, jo I think, I think Jolted counts. So theoretically, I could prop Privileged status, but we're not using the Lightning very often at all. So I think in the end, Family Favorite was the better thing to go with. But the whole reason I went with Family Favorite was because I didn't know what boon I was getting. I didn't feel like, I didn't feel like trying to uh, get a specific boon. I just kind of want to play with whatever I get here. Anyways, Hades fight. Really? Need to save that for a greater call. Well, I'm doing a lot of damage, even though I'm getting hit a lot. Ow. I just want phase one to be done. Because phase one is so much more chaotic than phase two. Here we go. Um... I need him to drop the bloodstones first. There. Let's break some of these. Because I don't have sure footing, so I need to be really careful about these urns. That's not reaching. Can he not drop the uh, bloodstones when he's shooting out those fire beams? The first time I thought I was just missing. I tried to I tried to hit that skull at the same time, but the auto lock made me aim towards Hades. Uh, okay. I obviously made him skip a phase or something there, and it made that happen. Well, that's a lot of urns.
just walk up to him into the eye of the storm. That was so easy. We had so much HP. That was such a beefy tank build. When I put on Aspect of Poseidon, that is not what I was expecting. So I'm glad I stuck with the Aphrodite cast, because when I saw the Aphrodite cast, I was really tempted to just restart, because that's such a weird cast to take with Aspect of Poseidon, but that was fun. So let's show, let's highlight what the main things were. I really thought we would have gotten Smoldering Air because of all the Zeus and Aphrodite, but that didn't happen. But instead, we were just able to pretty much focus on the cast. So Dash Nova... Dash Nova made some of those rooms in Elysium so chaotic, but really fun. Dash Nova... Aphrodite cast, obviously. And then we have to highlight Life Affirmation because we got so much HP in the end because of that. Breaking Wave actually did help the Poseidon Dash do a lot of damage in Elysium and even in the Temple of Sticks against all those rats. Uh, oh yeah, Flurry Cast! Duh, Flurry Cast is something I always want with Aspect of Poseidon. <laughs> Strong Drink helped a lot too, obviously. Get, get rid of uh, Meg. I can't tell you unhighlight Meg. You can't do that? Okay, I know you can. There. That was weird. It wasn't working for a while. That helped too. Extra dashes is always helpful. So we had a lot of mobility. Having extra dashes with Poseidon dash is really nice. Because it really lets you use it offensively. So I think this is a pretty good snapshot of the things that really affected this run. So now we have one more win with the sword. Obviously the most we've done is with the shield and the rail. Should probably do a spear or a fist one next. Anyways, let's grab that Titan blood. Ooh, fish. What lurks in this surface river here? A bass. A base. What's this? A real fish? Neglected to avoid um, stepping on the toxic strain of fungus. So rare you would not have heard of it. That's why you haven't heard of it. I'm home. <laughs> 